Welcome everyone to another video today. My name is Nicholas or Nick Greer. It doesn't matter to me, so let's get into it. To celebrate the release of the Eternals movie, I'll be talking about the character known as Carcass. He made his first appearance in Eternals issue 8 in November of 1976. He was created by Jack Kirby. Rest in peace. Carcass is from a deviant race. Now the deviants are a humanoid species with unstable genetic codes, which causes them to have random characteristics when, when they are born. Carcass appearance was more monstrous than other deviants and was considered a mutate. Usually when this happens, a deviant is sent for execution. This is due to their genetic codes being greater than the other deviants. Sometimes the deviant sometimes the deviant with this condition are ways to be gladiators and due to carcass carcass's size and strength he was selected to be a gladiator. However, carcass skin was too tough to impenetrate and carcass doesn't have any interest in becoming a gladiator. Because of this, he was he was let he was let go as a free man. Eventually, Carcass was sent to battle Ransack the Reject, a deviant that looks like a human being. And the three witnesses came to spectate the battle. These witnesses were Toad, who's the ruler and leader of the deviants, Crow, a dictator and general of the deviants, and the Eternal. Athena, who's played by Angelina Jolie in the Eternals movie. As the battle began, Ransack managed to injure Carcass, but all of a sudden, the Deviant City was attacked by the Celestial, known as Esun, the Searcher. Carcass asked both Athena and Ransack for protection due to the fact he was afraid to be sentenced to death. Athena would teleport herself along with Carcass and Ransack to her home, Olympia. For some time, Carcass remained loyal to Athena, even with her relationship with Crow. Eventually, he leaves Olympia to become a stuntman while working with Kingo, an eternal actor who also appeared in the Eternals movie. Carcass and Ransack work with Crow who's involved in the Delta Network, where the Deviants became allies with the U.S. government to battle against Gar, a, a crazy Deviant priest. After working full-time for Crow, Apocalypse, an ancient powerful mutant, would take control of Carcass with a control implant to destroy San Francisco. This was after manipulating the U.S. military to destroy Lemuria, a under a underwater kingdom, kingdom, with with nuclear missiles. Unfortunately, Ransack was forced to kill Carcass. Then let's move on to his powers and abilities. He has superhuman strength, durability, and he also has telepathy.